I am running this course all by myself, so there's some policies we need to follow to keep it running smoothly. First, I'll say that nothing I say right now supersedes the syllabus, which can be found on the online course guide. It has details on policies, uh, the general schedule, and general expectations. A syllabus is kind of a contract between instructor and students. I have hopefully set out some rules we can live by and uh, at least sort of general premises that we can all follow. And uh, then we can get through the course successfully. The first point I want to make simply is that participation in the online classes, the daily meetings, are, is mandatory. This is not a class where you can just decide to come or not come. We will be expecting that you participate in the discussions, be responsible for what is said during the classes. And as soon as we get into collaboration, your partners will be depending upon you to participate. And when students don't come, that disrupts the entire flow of the course. There's details in the syllabus on the specifics of the policy, but um, basically plan on attending the class meetings. In return, I will try to keep them efficient and as short as possible. We want to minimize Zoom fatigue and keep your time well used. So each course day will involve uh, the sort of a reasonable level of interactive time. Of course, part of that is that I will be expecting you to watch assigned video segments ahead of time so you're prepared for discussion and prepared for the actual class time. The second is that assignments need to be submitted on time. There will be clear deadlines. I will do my best to turn things around within reasonable time frames, and I will try to keep I will apply strict time limits to, to submitted work. That said, there's two premises to, to remember. One is something is always better than nothing. It's amazing to me how students will have something and then fail to submit it because it wasn't done or wasn't good enough. Submitting what you have is always preferable to submitting nothing. The second is to let me know what's going on. If I hear nothing from you, then the assignment is simply late. If there is something happening in your life that causes it to be late, let's discuss it. Tell me and you'll find that I am forgiving about deadlines as long as I'm kept in the loop and know what's going on. The third is that physical lab users will have to follow all of the safety rules. There are both normal lab rules we have about safety in the lab, use of tools, use of materials, use of the laser cutters that are true every year. This year there's a ton of new pandemic related rules. And anyone who's using the physical space just has to follow all of those. They will be clearly posted, but they might be constantly changing. So this is the responsibility of everyone using the Hunt Library facility to use it well and to follow rules and to, um, yeah, to do what we need to do. Um, the next item, I hope I don't have to say this, but do your own work. This is a class where, in general, uh, everyone does slightly different things. It's not like you're solving the same problem set in the same way as everyone else. So it's usually entirely apparent that someone has done their own work. But um, let's not copy. Let's do our own work. That said, all of engineering and all of science is built on the shoulders of many other people. And invariably, you're going to find outside resources or other examples or working code or working designs that you will use for inspiration and, and often direct borrowing. So the, the key uh, criteria there is cite outside resources. If you're using code from someone else, document that. Put that a co comment in your code, cite the source, let us know that you're using some other reference. This is especially true when you're collaborating. When you're collaborating, I want you to treat your partners fairly. Be clear about who is contributing what. Be clear about who is providing what, who is responsible for what. Respect each other. And um, that will lead to much better outcomes. Um, we will have partners who work well together. There'll be clarity about who has created what and been responsible for what. And um, in the end, most things will be co-created and uh, there won't be any problems. But keeping clear expectations between each other will really help with collaboration. My last statement is simply take care of yourself. This is likely to be a very difficult year. It certainly will be an unusual year. And so each person must take care of their own mental well-being and physical well-being as we navigate this new educational scenario together. So uh, please do what you need to keep yourself in order. And if your personal circumstances or the weird circumstances of this year intrude upon your work, uh, I invite you to let me know, certainly let me know uh, what we can do to make the course work well in the light of all that's going on.